Hello, my friends. Welcome to our first of uh, two live sessions where we're going to be asking questions, answering questions, demonstrating some of the recent changes that have taken place on LinkedIn and Facebook. And when I say recent, I'm talking about how's Monday and Tuesday. Now, these new changes, when you start to apply them to your business, are going to give you, frankly, an advantage over your competition. The word's going to get out. These features can help you talk to more people, close more sales. So during this session, we're going to focus on communicating with people, everyone. Qualify them by asking questions. And that's the focus of tonight's boot camp. Communicate. You have access on Facebook to 2.7 billion people. On LinkedIn, it's 706 million people. And LinkedIn, I told you, I told you seven months ago that LinkedIn was going to be adding video. And they've been adding it. And now they have recently added some things that are going to make it easier, not only for you to talk to people, communicate with them, it's also gonna make it easier for you to work with your team, to train your team, frankly, to build your business. Now, the way you qualify someone is to ask questions. It is just as easy, just as easy, to connect with someone who you know in advance is interested in a business opportunity as it is to, con to connect with somebody that would be interested in your products. So if you could talk to somebody that was looking to build a business, your business is going to grow faster, right? Now, what you're all in the process of learning is called the Socratic method of selling. It's a method of teaching or discussion originated by Socrates in ancient Greece in which one asks a series of easily answered questions to your prospect that inevitably leads them to the logical conclusion that they need what you're selling. So we respect your prospect. None of this, hey, if you'd be interested, I could show you how you can make some extra income online. When I got into network marketing, I was told, I was taught just to walk up to people. Hey, if I could show you a way to make an extra thousand dollars a week working part time from home, would you be interested? Or what's being taught out there is, Bill, if I could show you how you could make an extra thousand dollars a week working part time from home, would you be interested? Now, this may or may not be for you, but if it's not, it's okay. And you're not going to find those words, those scripts anywhere in any of my trainings. Because you're only going to talk to people about your business that you know in advance need what you have. Help your prospect think. And help your prospect make decisions. The logical decision that since they are looking for an opportunity... You have one, and more important, what you're going to show them is radically different than what their perception of network marketing is. Now, we've given everybody sim six simple actions for immediate results. And literally, eight days from today, we're going to have on Friday and Saturday, the 23rd and 24th, our two-day top earner retreat, where we're going to teach you things about the network marketing industry that nobody else talks about. And knowing this information can put you on the path to becoming a top earner in your business faster. I'm going to kind of skip ahead here a little. Um, We've been providing you with some motivational quotes. And uh, this one was among them. 
Because a lot of times you're going to run into people that have a negative attitude about network marketing. So we're going to be sharing with everyone tonight in boot camp some of these quotes. If 50 million people say a foolish thing, it's still a foolish thing. And there are a number of ways, you know, to put that out there. It's subtle. And a good quote is often repeated by other people. Anatoly France was probably the first one who said it. Bertrand Russell started to use it. Catherine Graham used it. Other people used it. And then what I essentially did was to put one foot in front of the other, shut my eyes, and step off the ledge. The surprise was that I landed on my feet. The hardest thing to learn in life is which bridge to cross and which bridge to burn. Now, posting things like this on your Facebook page, on your LinkedIn page, gets your prospects who are going through change to start thinking about what's going on in their lives. How does this relate to me? The fact that an opinion has been widely held is no evidence whatsoever that it is not utterly absurd. I like this one. There is no evidence that the tongue is connected to the brain. So what we're going to do, what you do is you post things like this. Okay? You post things like this. And life belongs to the living and he who lives must be prepared to change. You're all in the process of learning, mastering a four-step process that works for everybody. Create your page. Put yourself out there. Connect with people. Now, the beautiful thing about what you're all learning is you're already connected to people and the people that you bring into your business, while you're going to want them to make a list and go out and start talking to the people that they know, they're already connected to people on Facebook. They're already connected to people on LinkedIn. So all they have to do is start talking to them and a percentage of these people are going to get into your business. Now, this week, some things have changed. And I'm going to talk about some of these things. And uh, LinkedIn has added new features. We're going to demonstrate some of them this morning. And uh, the open to network frame around a picture lets you know people that are clearly looking for an opportunity. Their new video feature is really what we want to focus on this morning. And so when you look at the message feature, you're going to notice a new icon. Now we're going to jump over. to um, Facebook and LinkedIn. And before we do that, let me... Now, Karen Winter, who uh, I've been working with for, wow, it's almost a year now. And she's one of the top earners in um, Maluka. Recently put up a a semi... uh, a video that she made, it's two minutes, and she's basically sending out a very good message. Whoops. All right, and this is one way you communicate with folks on Facebook using the camera and then the video aspect of the camera. We could bring up anyone's profile. Oops. And what we're going to see okay, we're going to see that we can take a picture, use a video, we can use a GIF, 
add a file. Now, I'm going to jump over to LinkedIn. Now, I'm in the new LinkedIn. The new LinkedIn is going to have a white toolbar up at the top. And then we come over here and I bring up Chris. Okay? And look what we have down here. A little movie camera. This is new. If I was if I was printing a book, the ink would still be wet on these pages. And so if we click on the camera, you've got three options. You could use Microsoft Teams, you could use Zoom, or you could use Blue Jeans, which is another form of video, doing a, making a video connection. So let's click on Zoom because most of you are familiar with it. And then you have to sign into Zoom to create a video meeting. Now, what are they doing? They are making it easy for you to communicate with another person. I got this from um, Chris, who's a former student. Actually, he's a coaching student. Let me make up. Let me open this up a little bit bigger. Okay. So he just started boot camp again. He decided to look at recent University of Washington graduates who work at Boeing since much of their operation is moving to South Carolina. So he wrote, I'm so glad I did. I closed two on Friday, scheduled eight appointments for overviews for Thursday, Friday, and Monday. Thank you for what you do. I'm really blessed with the opportunity to attend boot camp and top earner retreat. He's going to do coaching again. Now, he sent me this. And uh, that this is a conversation that he had with somebody on LinkedIn. So he reached out to someone. Person literally accepted almost immediately. How long have you been on LinkedIn? How's it working? I've been on it for a while. Okay. So he says, I find that a lot of people have a good game, talk a good game about diversity, but I don't see it. So how long have you been on LinkedIn? Ten years. And he says, I always end up being the only black person in the company. But of course, it's Portland, the most fake progressive city in the country. So they're having a conversation about... Portland. It reminds me what Malcolm X said about white liberals, the most racist people on earth. What is your escape plan? This is political. So what are you currently doing? I'm not working right now. I had kidney failure and I'm waiting for a transplant. However, I'm healthy enough to work and I'm currently looking. Hey, being sick and unemployed are extremely frustrating. How are you surviving financially? Notice how he, he avoids politics. Um, my little cousin just went through the process, but sick and unemployment must be, okay, how are you surviving financially? Social Security, my girl works, but I want to get back to work. I get that. Have you ever considered developing an online income where you don't have to go into an office? I have, but I'm not sure where to start. Yeah, it can be confusing. There are a lot of bad information out there, not to mention the people who want to steal your money and run. What is your experience with network marketing? I've done it all in sales. All right? What companies have you worked with? He didn't give me the rest, okay? And I'm going to ask him for it. But the bottom line is he, he, he closed the sale. This is all about you reaching out to people, starting conversations, and learning who these people are. Who are they? What do they need? Now, what's interesting is at the beginning of the week, I was telling everybody that you're only going to get the camera here in the new version. And now what's starting to happen is people with the old version are starting to get it too. 
Now, the new version offers you some changes, some features that you're not going to find in the old version. But the important thing is now they are starting to roll out video to the masses on LinkedIn. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to log out of my account and let's go into somebody that is um, has the old version. The old version again has the blue top. Stand by, please. Circumstances. I don't interrupt the call. Let's see if she's here. She's not here. Um, but anyway, uh, for those of you that are in Maluka, that was Eddie Bistoso. And uh, uh, let me... Well, it's cool. All right. So now... Michael has the old version. Now we come over here. Now he doesn't have the camera. He doesn't have the camera. But there are other people that do. Now, everybody always asks the question, well, when am I going to get? Well, you're going to get it when... LinkedIn decides to make it available to you. One day you're going to wake up, you're going to pop over here, and it's going to be there. All right? And when it happens, let me... Uh, now, is there anybody here that has the old version and the camera? Okay, so I'm going to jump into Patty's account. So Patty's got the old version. And then if we look and bring up the chat feature, she's got it. Now, when you get it, it's going to do, it's going to give you one more element, one more thing that you can do to communicate with people. And the best part about it is where you're going to use this is when you're ready, to, after, after you've qualified them, after you know they're a prospect, you're going to be able to literally, while they're on LinkedIn, set up a Zoom, meet them, talk to them, give them the presentation. Folks, this is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. And the bottom line is, LinkedIn hooking up with Zoom, Facebook doesn't do that. Facebook has their own internal. Now, I'm going to um, jump into some accounts and demonstrate how the conversation process works. But as long as I'm in Patty's account, um, let me look at someone she's talking to. Named Davin. De Devin. Okay. So let me unmute Patricia. So you got your page up. Now you're free to go out there 
and start talking to people. Okay? You want to be successful in network marketing, you need to talk to people. Period. And the beautiful thing about Facebook and LinkedIn is you know enough about the person on the other end to know they've got a need. Here you can see he did something 16 hours ago. Let's take a look at who he is. The beautiful thing is they know all about you. So he's a personal trainer. So what do we know about personal trainers? Most personal trainers are suffering financially. Now you look up at the top and you can see his URL. He hasn't done anything with that. We can come over here and look at his contact information. And so you can see his email address, but that's because you're connected to him. So you've been connected to him since the 28th of September. So let's move down a little bit. And so he's been a personal trainer, self-employed, going all the way back to 2017. He worked at LA Fitness. And then he was a coach in school. So you, you got the guy's work history here. So he's got sales experience. And if he went into college in 2012, you could assume he graduated from high school in 2011. So that's 19 years ago when he was 17 years old. So he's 36. Now, 36 is an interesting age. See, until you hit 30, it's okay to uh, experiment, explore, try to figure out what you're going to do, play around. But when you hit 30, most people start thinking about, okay, I got to plant some roots. You know, I go to college, I get out of college, I'm going to start, I'm going to explore, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try that. But by the time you hit 30, 30, now, you know, some people do it earlier. But when they hit 30 years old, they have roughly 10 years between 30 and 40 to plant some roots and hit the ground running. Unfortunately, what happens in life is many people plant their roots in the wrong thing and things change. So we're talking to somebody who's 36 years old. Now, you reached out to him. He, he accepted right away. Now, and, and I got to tell you something. Th this is so important because the scripts that I'm giving you work. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to get doing it. Right, Patty? I mean, you're, you're, you're good with all of this, right? Oh, yes. I'm just at the point where I am with him. It's just, you know, learning the uh, transition from I've got, you know, their network marketing answers and what to do after that and the script of going from that to showing them the business. Right. Now, the nice thing is, you know, if we wanted to compare this with dance lessons, You've got the two-step, okay? If you like country, western dancing, you got the two-step. You could, you could do it in your sleep. Anybody can do it in their sleep. And so now, we're, the next step, and, and you're starting to get a little comfortable with it as far as discovering what their experience in network marketing is. And so in this particular case, so how is it... Everybody's struggling financially. How are you going to, not forced to stop working, but hours have definitely been reduced. Well, if his hours have been reduced, then it means he's not making as much money. How long have you been a personal trainer? A little over three years. Now, the more you do this, the, the more the patterns begin to evolve. 
Now, somebody that is a, in personal training, anybody that's been personal training for over five years knows all about network marketing. Some know earlier. But why do network market? Why do personal trainers get into network marketing? Because residual income. They can find a product that they're passionate about, passionate to the point where they'd be happy to recommend it to their clients. And so if they're not coaching, their clients are still buying the products month after month after month. The key, they gotta be passionate about the product. Personal trainers, people in fitness, some will jump right in, some will look at the products and they'll analyze them and what's in them. And some of them may come back to you and they say, well, you know what? Um, I'm really looking for an opportunity, but I can't, I can't recommend these products. I don't like what's in them. So let's see. So you reach out to him. What prompt did you get into personal training? Significant background and organized was well, always meant to be in a gym. Now, you're t this is an eager socializer, okay? You're re reaching out to him. He's writing back. Now, have you run into people that give you one or two word answers? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, and what do you do with those people? Uh, just I'm, most of the times, you know, if there's not a need, I just have to just be done with them. It's mm -hmm. just <laughs> not worth trying to. Right. You, you move on. Yeah. And, and the truth is that sometimes even if you have a little bit of a difficult time evaluating um, who do I talk to? What's the maximum number of people, Patty, that you've talked to at one had you, You've had conversations with, let's say. I think there was that one time on a Saturday, it was like seven people. Right. Now you can't talk to but seven, you can't talk to seven people at once on the phone. But you can talk to seven people on here. How did you keep them straight? I had to keep going back and looking at the conversations and sometimes going back and looking at their profile again. It, it takes a little while doing all of that, but it was <laughs> still good. Well, you know, and, and fellas, don't take this the wrong way, but women are better multitaskers than men when it comes to this. I don't know what, maybe it's in their DNA, but it doesn't matter. You just take your time. So now, what do you enjoy the most about personal training? Uh, helping people achieve things they thought were po impossible. The knowledge I now, I have now off a body and ha it's got a nice body, it's a nice perk. Okay, so we know that he's not training as many people. We know he's got a financial need. So you come back, well, many of the personal trainers that I'm meeting on LinkedIn. See, now when you say I'm meeting on LinkedIn, that's subtle. The other, op the other way would be to say many of the personal trainers that I'm working with on LinkedIn are all involved with a network marketing company that has products that benefit their clients and it generates an additional income stream to their fitness business, what network marketing experience do you have? He can't say, I can't say that I'm involved in a network marketing company. What exactly do you mean by that? Now, this is very important because when you use the term network marketing, and I know for those of you that are in Malaluka, you're all going, well, we're not a network marketing company. We're a consumer direct company. We're not like those MLM people. Well, well, like it or not, like it or not, the whole world puts your business in the MLM category. So if you go down that road and say, well, hey, we're, we're consumer direct, you show them the business, they go, they slap themselves and they go, oh my God, not another one of those people. But we have people here in other companies as well. Now, for example, Patty, you're in um, Isogenics, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now Isogenics has products specifically designed for people that are active, 
people that are into fitness and they you, they've got I mean all kinds of testimonials they've got all kinds of examples of personal trainers that have done very very well so that's one of the reasons why she's targeting fitness people personal trainers people that would be interested in her products that's the whole idea so when you're searching for someone to talk to about your business whatever it is and there are millions of people that have a need guess what you've got to take another filter and look at what the person does look at what their background is and make a decision is is there a natural path to showing the person the business where they would be interested where they would be excited and so we come back when I use the term network marketing I'm referring to companies like Herbalife Avon Amway and she says well never have and I'm not opposed to it I just haven't looked into it enough to say I want to put my name on it okay all right so now what we're going to do is we want to explain it to him all right now you've done this before in other words you know most personal trainers you know what attracts personal but we personalize it what attracts personal trainers to network marketing is residual income to be successful in network marketing first you have to be passionate about the products that you're going to represent then you have to be passionate about the company behind the products you can't be successful in a company where you're not passionate passionate to the point where you would recommend it to people even if you weren't getting paid and then and this is the most this is equally as important is you have to be connected with somebody to work with that can help you that can train you because unfortunately a lot of people get into network marketing they're never taught they're never trained they get in they fail they have nobody to help them okay so passionate about the products passionate about the company work with someone who is successful that is committed to helping you become successful because in network marketing you're in business for yourself but not by yourself all right now you're already at the stage now where you can do that over and over and over again right yeah yeah I am okay so now you reach out make the connection discover their needs identify them you use the transition line here right here okay and then the next part is showing them the business now we have a couple of responses already right didn't we, didn't we write a couple for you or, or share a couple with you mm, let's see a couple responses for well you know explaining network marketing setting them up oh, to, yeah. to look at your business okay. yeah I thought so I, yeah I just didn't um, I guess it's been a different this is I haven't done one yet that has been like this where no network marketing experience and they're not opposed to it right okay so base but okay so this is this is one more scenario because most of the time it's been people that have had a negative attitude about network marketing right okay but you know I have quite a few in this area right here so right now once you get once we nail this you already know how to deal with people that are, have a negative attitude about network marketing and we're not trying to convince them of anything we're just trying to educate them and now we're going to the part this is this is a little bit more fun because they don't have any negative experience and he's open to looking at it because he needs to make more money okay so then basically what we're gonna say what we're gonna continue to say is um, I'm working with a company called Isogenics and uh, a little paragraph about I've been working with the company for so many how long have you been with the company uh, well you know I started out with Zija you know nine years ago so okay then just 
All right. So, okay. So then basically what you want to say is, you know, you, you want to talk about your entire network marketing experience. I'm really into health, wellness, and fitness. And, uh, you know, I'm working with a company that's been in business for, I think, what, 14, 15 years. Uh, and uh, I've developed a system to, you know, build the business on the internet. And uh, what you could probably do is use the project launch script and say, you know, I'm uh, about to launch a project to work with three people that have your level of experience in fitness and personal training and help them go to the top of my company in the next 90 days. So that would be November, December, that would be into, into January. But you have a the company has a program where if he tells now their program is you plus two, them plus two. So he brings somebody into the business, helps that person bring get two customers. And if he does that twice a week for a month, he'll learn he'll learn about five thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Okay? So that's that's a simple way to explain the comp plan. For those of you that are in Jeunesse, it's a different number. For those of you that are in New Skin, it's a different number. Companies have different programs. You have to understand the comp plan. And in most cases, they've got a simple explanation. In Maluka, it's you bring somebody into the business, you help them get eight customers, they make $500. They do it tw- twice in a week, they make 1000 So we want to be able to say, if you do it every week, now, doing it every week, in most cases, before social media, before the internet, man, that was tough. You had to hustle. Well, you still have to hustle, but the bottom line is you have unlimited ass access to people. The big question is, how committed are you to building the business? Because you have no limit to the number of people that you could talk to every day. You know, and uh, I was talking to somebody yesterday about it who got into network marketing because he was desperate. Now people get into network marketing out of inspiration or desperation. So you all have to ask yourself or remind yourself, why did you get into your business? I'll tell you, when I got into the business, I was desperate. I told my sponsor, who happened to be my divorce attorney, I need, show me how I can make $3,000 a month. You can show me that. I'm in. Why 3000 Because I had a boat. I had to pay the marina. I had to pay maintenance. And I wanted to at least be able to cover my car payment. So he showed me, and I jumped in. What was it going to take for me to make three grand? I had, a, I had to sign up 12 people. Okay, 12 people in a month. It's three people a week. Okay, I'm in. I, I could see that. So you want to help people see it. They're not going to jump into it unless they can see themselves being successful. And that's one of the biggest challenges that a lot of people have in network marketing, especially top earners. Because what happens is people look, they're talking to somebody and they go, oh, you know, man, I really need to do this. I mean, I really need to do something. But the bottom line is, the bottom line is, I can't do what he does, or I don't want to do what they do. So if you make it easy, if you make it natural, then they're not only anxious to do it, but they're anxious to you know, do it on a regular basis. And that's what, that's what it's gonna take. So for him, a little bit about the company. You know, you're going to help somebody go to the top in the next 90 days. And of course, what I would do is, so if he does it three months in a row, he's going to make $15,000. Now, what you might say is, and then make $10,000 in the next 60 days. 
so that you guys can be celebrating New Year's Eve. You're going to be opening up the champagne. And you're looking for somebody that really wants to be successful. And what he likes is working with people. Look at his profile. Okay? So he... Um, counselor. Um, customer service. He's done sales. Okay? So he likes working with people. And... and uh, teacher. Teacher. The most successful people in network marketing are teachers. Okay? Now he's into this and you're going to help him launch a new career and basically show him the business. Now, how are you going to show him the business? We're going to show him the business. Um, give him a link. You know, you explain enough about network marketing and then we can come over here and we can send this over to him, right? And then he could come over here and you could do a Zoom thing with him and go through it with him. Hey, listen, let, let, let me show you, okay? You know, if you got a couple of minutes, see, what makes this so easy is it's a universal built-in thing. He doesn't have to, you don't have to send him a link to something. You don't have to, what you got, you don't have to rush and get it set up and go back and forth. You could literally, hey, do you got a couple of minutes? I'll, you know, we'll, we'll do a, a little thing. And let me show it to you. That is what you can do on, um, on Facebook. All right, on Facebook, it's here. It's, it's start a video chat. LinkedIn is following Facebook. Okay? So now, once you've done that once or twice, I mean, then pretty much you got it, right? I mean, what else? What is left? Actually, let me tell you what's left. What's left is teaching the people that you're bringing into the business to do the business. And as you start enrolling people, you start enrolling four or five people a week, or let's say three people a week into your business, which is a doable number, then what happens is, so at the end of a month, you got 12 people that you have to work with, that you have to train, that you have to support. That's a whole new ball game. And sometimes the fear of doing that keeps people from being successful. They go, okay, you know, how do I train people how, how do you know I don't know how to do that and that keeps people from pulling the trigger well guess what that's not a concern for you and and the solution to that you know that's one of the things we cover in, in the retreat and in our 90-day game plan you have a step-by-step -step document to show people exactly what they have to do to be successful it lays it out for you and the best part about it is now when we start training people, what, how are we going to do it? We're going to train people in groups. So you'll set up a schedule. You know, I, I train my team on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or, or whatever is convenient for you, whatever is convenient for them. And the only reason I will break the schedule is if there's a fire. <laughs> and I get, you know, I got to go to a fire. And, and, and so, the, so then you use that to start bringing your, your, your new recruits along with the attitude that, look, hey, Mary, you know, do me a favor. Um, just in case there's a fire and I have to go, we got to keep this schedule going. You know, I want you to learn how to do this so you can teach it to other people. You could, you could tell all, all of you people the same thing. Okay, so now we're building a team. We're sharing results. Everybody's communicating with everybody and look what Facebook is doing okay let me come over to my home page over here now see I've got the old Facebook I got the old Facebook I don't have a new feature here 
that the new Facebook has. Whoa, I'm getting hungry. Okay? And uh, so we come down here. So what am I looking for? Let's see, how that's, this is, an, this is uh, the anniversary of uh, my son's passing. And uh, so I'm not doing any coaching sessions today. Okay, so let me let me go over to a new to the new Facebook. Okay, but we will be doing a boot camp tonight. Now, the new Facebook, you've got rooms. Well, you could set up a video call. It's like you got your own chat room where you can invite people. Facebook and LinkedIn both are making it easier for you to not only communicate with people, bring people into your business, but on top of that, on top of that, they're giving you the internal tools to train. What could be better than that? All right, so let me, uh, um, if you want, go ahead and write up uh, what you would send him. Shoot it over to me, take a look at it. And, okay, that sounds good, thanks, Max. All right, you're welcome. Now let's come over here, and uh, James is another coaching student. And, and first, let me uh, say that I really appreciate the generosity uh, of some of my coaching students who let you all peek over our shoulders while we do this, okay? And um, you're all going through the same process. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go over to, now James has the new LinkedIn. We're gonna come over here, so look at this. He's got four more people that wanna join his network and he has 41 notifications. Now, what does that mean? That's 41 potential opportunities to talk to somebody. So we're going over here to the message area and we're looking at Sharon. Every day. See, every day we can scroll down here and look at all okay this is just for Sharon so let's ex ex exit this out for just a minute so look at all the people that James well this was okay, this was yesterday this is today one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty one people you talk to 21 people every day. Let's look at the 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20, 25. You talk to 20 to 25 people every day. You can't fail. All right? Well, you can if you talk to the wrong people. So we're going to pop in here and let's look for Sharon. And let's type in our last name too. Okay. Okay. So we're talking to Sharon. Internet entrepreneur, home health coach, founder, philanthropist. And so James writes, uh, sounds like one of your students. Okay, well, um, I could check the database and see. Now she could be one of my students or she could be a student of a student. She could be in someone's downline or organization. But you got a pretty good idea she's in network. Worldwide wealth and health, wealth and wellness. 
Well, we're a mutual connection, so right off the bat, that, that, that ought to tell you. From the time I entered the nursing practice, I enjoyed teaching others, okay? All right, so she's been in some, comp 22 years. And she goes into other things that she's done. All right, so let's look and see how the conversation went. So you reached out to Sharon. Let me unmute uh, James. Hey, Max. Yeah, good, good morning. How are you this morning? I am. I'm good. I'm good. So you reach out to her. She accepts you. How long? Okay. So she's been only in 10 years. Now, again, you ask people what they do. They're going to come back and answer what you do. How long have you been on LinkedIn? They're going to tell you. Then they're going to ask you how long you've been on LinkedIn. Try this sometime. Talk to somebody and say, I, listen, my favorite food is Italian. What's yours? They're going to tell you, and then they're going to come back and ask you what your, uh, what your favorite food is. All right. I think now, how long have you been on LinkedIn? Okay, now. Here the questions you come at the end. So I think my... Yeah, I had the... Uh, I, I should have clicked on that before and right. then put the question in. I'm still figuring out which time to click the, the gift and that sort of thing. Okay. But now here's the thing. You see, we're mutual friends. You have a real good idea that she's a network marketer. Okay? So you guys don't have to beat around the bush. If anything that's on her profile is up for discussion. So she says here, she's been doing this for 24, 22 years, helping people reach their wellness and financial goals. Well, how do you do that? I see that you, you know, you're the founder of the Worldwide Wealth and Wellness. Um, most of the people that are involved in stuff like that are network marketers you know what network marketing company are you working with or, or was this one company or so the bottom line is the bottom line is you want to know what people do so she's asked uh, we get it we we hit that a little further down okay the conversation. so what do you do sounds like you're in a network marketing company now you asked her um, sounds like you're a network marketer. The company, you're saying it sounds like you're a network marketer. The company, you don't want to ask how did you come to doing what you're doing. The question would be what network marketing company are you in? Okay, just cut to the chase. Right, the right. So I had to leave nursing and introduce you to a company that I work with. I love the products. Okay. So now, all right. So what does your business entail? Here, you would say to her, I'm working with a company called X. And without, don't go into any kind of details. I work with a company called X. What network marketing company are you working with? How long have you been with them? <clears throat> you know, and, and love the products. So it's all about time. You know, the information that you had um, now what is this? Let me look. I got Michael here that, um, let me unmute Michael for a minute. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. So you, you've been talking to her too? Uh, no, it's somebody else. Okay. But you say she wanted to get me on the phone? Uh, yeah. All right. Let, let's, uh, so you know what to do here, right, James? Yes, sir. Okay. Got it. So, so let, let's pop over here and let's jump in. We've got another four minutes. I want to. So, uh, dream. All right. So, you want, Mike, Michael, you want to get these things set up for Saturday. So, who's the person that wants to get you on the phone? 
Oh, that was uh, quite a while ago. Uh, it's an Asian, Asian lady. Okay. But I need her name. I can't type in Asian, oh. <laughs> Asian lady. Asian lady. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I forgot. Okay. Um, All right. So let, 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 let me, let me kind of walk you through the drill. A lot of people, when you make that connection, and this is something that's being taught by large groups in Amway, and okay, and so what they're being taught is you make the connection based on, oh, hey, listen, we see we have a lot of uh, things in common, let's connect. And then as soon as you connect them, they, they want to rush you right to the telephone. Well, you don't want to jump, or, and sometimes there are people that are selling things you don't want to jump on the phone right away because as you see here, here you could be talking to six or seven people at the same time on the phone. You're stuck with one person who invariably is going to try to sell you whatever it is they're there to sell. So when somebody says, let's get, you know, let's get on the phone. So the way you handle that, we call this the sidestep. Now you've already, the two step is create, connect, communicate. The side step is you say, man, I'd really enjoy talking to you, but this is a, you know, this is a, really a busy week. I got commitments all week. Um, I'd, let's see if we can schedule it for next week. Okay. And then you ask them a question like, uh, how long have you been doing that? And they will write back and they'll tell you, and they'll, you know, they try to schedule a time. Say, let me check my calendar and I can get back to you later. Um, what did you do before? So literally, you could do a sidestep, get questions to one or two answers. Now, usually, you can do that twice and you'll get enough information to dis determine whether or not you even want to talk to them on the telephone. You should have a pretty good idea of what they do. In fact, you'd say, listen, I'd love to talk to you on the telephone, but you know, can you give me a little bit more in insight into what you do? You know, wh wh what do you do? And you can pick it up um, that way. The most important thing is with all of the people that you have to talk to, with, you, you got to choose. Your time is valuable. So what are we doing? We are qualifying people before you ever move to the telephone. When the time comes for you to move to the telephone, it's usually going to be, it should be, so we can talk to them about our business so we could ex... I'm sorry, Max. I got to go. I'll talk and no, no, go ahead. go ahead. I'll see you Saturday. Saturday. Go ahead. Awesome. Have a good day. All Thank right. You. You're welcome. So, again, it's all about the other person. I want you to think in these terms. If it was going to cost you, if it was going to cost you $50 every time, every time you were going to show somebody the business, You'd be very selective about who you showed it to. Francisco has been a student for 20 some odd years. I started working with Francisco when he was building prepaid legal. So last month he came back. Okay. And in his first week he sponsored 18 people. 18. Now some of those people were, I applied the methods on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. 21 years since he started. Okay? It's all determined by how many people you're connected to. Derek is an, another student. He's back. Last time I worked with Derek, he was building MySpace. This kid's kid. Derek was standing in line on Black Friday. Okay? Waiting to get into a store so you could get a great deal on a, on, a, on a TV. He signed somebody up into his business while they were waiting in line. He sent me this. So eight new people checking into my company. Okay. One more. Anthony, his first month, signs up 10 people. 
okay? Because I don't have to bother my friends, my family. One post, a friend called me, signed her up. Now, for the first time in network marketing, he's confident. He's confident. You got to look at the big picture. Joanne, first month, she doubled her income. Second month, she tripled it. Her confidence is through the roof. The more you do this, the easier it gets. Okay? And in no time at all, you'll be out there on that dance floor. You'll be, you'll be ready for the Argentine tango. We're going to be back at 4 o'clock for another session. We're going to be tonight, our third session of boot camp, communication. Because, my friend, that is what it's all about. Create, connect, communicate, and the people that clearly need what you have, want what you have, will join you in your business. All right? So it's fast, it's easy, it's fun. And the $64 question is, how bad do you want to be successful in your business? Okay? How bad? And then, of course, the other thing is how fast you want to go. That's why we have boot camps. I mean, some of you can just buy my Endless Free Leads Home Study course, go through it, follow the steps. Boot camp, we have folks that uh, are moving through the process. And for those of you, unfortunately, my coaching time is limited to 25 people, and I only work with three people a day. But for those of you that are interested in really going fast, it's all about coaching, okay? Two hours, boom, you're out there, you're talking to people. One hour with me is like going through a boot camp. So if there's anybody that's interested in coaching, please reach out to my staff and let them know. And uh, uh, right now, my coaching schedule is full, but I know next week I, we're gonna have one or two openings. So until next time, best of luck in building your business. Chris, executive director in his company, okay? He's been with the company, I think, for 20 years. He wants to take his business to the next level, and boom. Two conversations, two appointments. You're all heading down the same road when you're talking to the right people. So until next time, best of luck in building your business.